Hello everyone. I'm gonna I'm gonna showcase a tool that I found today, and I'm gonna showcase some more tools because I I had some requests from some of you asking, what about tools? You talk a lot about try hack me and you know uh, fundamental model stuff, but what about an actual tool to do something like a, a task? I <clears throat> I'm not the best tool content creator, but I'm, I'm gonna try and do more tool videos. So I found this one here. Now I just wanna briefly um, tell you why I'm not the, the, the biggest tool user. I'm not creating a lot of tool videos. It is basically because that I feel many tools are script kitty tools. It means that you can, you know, type an IP address, press enter, and it does something, maybe you're lucky, but are you learning something? And the answers would be no, it is not learning anything. However, I think this tool is just a helper tool, so it's not really anything uh, that's gonna, you know, do a lot of work for you. There's a site called um, Have I Been Pwned? Um, this website here, where you can put in your email or phone number and press pwned, then you're gonna, will find out whether you can pwn or not. There are a small statistic here of large breaches. The pwned amount of account contains 11 billion, 778 million and some smaller numbers. That's gonna be a lot of accounts. And basically you can see that if, if you had a Facebook account, that's a pretty good chance that you that you got pwned and your um, that your credentials is, is somewhere out on the internet. You know, you can visit the, the, the different kind of, you know, statistics and verify the numbers. However, there's a tool we can use to automate all this. So we can, of course, type in tests at test.com, for example, and then see like, have this account been pwned? And oh, you have been pwned in 389 data breaches and found in 14,000 and zero pastes and um, we can click it and basically read about what is a paste. Um, now, let me see. Not really sure. All this here, you can see that, you know, um, approximately March 15, March 2020, you know, it's recent, even even late 2021, this account here. And basically you can see that if you have an account with your own email uh, and one of them is mentioned here, there's a pretty good chance that your password is out there, that someone might have it. It's, it doesn't necessarily mean that you're gonna be hacked or something like that, but it could be a really good idea to change your password, you know, to something different. Um, what this site really suggests you to do is to use this service called pass one password.com and it's gonna help you protect um, with a new password for each website. So basically that's gonna be the perfect way. Um, I'm not sure if you can see the password somewhere. I remember a service where you can look up a password for an account and then it would kind of tell you what it was, but um, I found it. So subscribe to search sensitive breaches. Yeah, so we would need to subscribe and basically put in the email and then we could um, probably get access to some of these sensitive breaches. Um, I'm not really sure what it means, but you know, different ways. However, when it comes to tools and and script kiddies, you know, script kiddies would probably not use this website here, even though it's kind of user friendly and, and doesn't really require anything for you to um, to work with. Script kiddies just like tools you can, you know, even better than I <laughs> like a, a GUI. But you know, I'm gonna. I'm gonna do this, so let me just, this script here. Now, when we run this script, we're basically gonna see that there are some requirements, and we, whoops. Um, let me just 
dash h. Basically, just see that you need to put in the email as as the email or username to check, and then you can put in different kind of you know. Um, how did I copy that down here? Oh, I I drank dropped it. Yeah, I just didn't not verify that I actually dropped it somewhere, but I guess I did. <laughs> Anyways, you can basically call the script. So you do something like this, and you write test at test.com basically you run it and it's gonna it's gonna well check an email in publicly send no leaks found to have a been put website and yeah that might be true now I'm not gonna if I press enter now I it's gonna try and check this account on various websites you know just in you know it's not illegal to try and log in, but you know, I, I'm gonna type something ridiculous. So I'm gonna go back here and instead of test.test.com, I'm gonna do like uh, test at no reply uh, dot com. I'm pretty sure no one have an account. <laughs> even, even better, test one two dot one two three dot whatever. Not gonna, you know, it, it's just a showcase, you no, know, for educational purposes. Then you can enter a password, let's just one, two, three, four, five, six, press enter, and then you're gonna try and log in on these different accounts. Basically, I think the last one is always going to be green, <laughs> uh, from what I heard. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I did check it once, you know, I, I tried with some similar, you know, ridiculous email that doesn't exist. And and this just, just said, successful and I think it's a flaw in this script but I'm, I'm thinking these kind of tools you know they look pretty good with the banner and yeah 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 but uh, if you like it I be my guest you know to to use it for for testing purposes but you're gonna do that with um, accounts and usernames you already are hired to test so not for malicious purposes but for wide hacking purposes so you're hired by company and they're gonna um can you use some tool to verify whether we can log in on this and that account and you can use this you know tool to do that so basically that's uh, what i'm going to talk about in this video now the last thing that i would like to mention about the website have i been pwned you can <sighs> You can insert your own insert your own email address by notify me, and it's gonna notify you if it found you know that your account has been pwned. So that is one way. There's also the domain search here where you can search for pwned accounts across entire domain and receive future notifications. So it's gonna be a domain uh, wide search. Um, Pwned websites, you know, I think the list should be pretty big. And as you can see, it is really big. And if you had an account somewhere on one of these pages, there's a slight chance that you got pwned. You can also set up your own API uh, to create somewhat the same as the script I just showed you. And by the way, passwords here. Um, this is really just um, another way for you to verify. So we're gonna type in some password. I'm just typing in one two three five six. Press pwned. Then of course it's gonna be like um, <laughs> you can see down here that you know all the different hashes for that different kind of you know NTLM uh, SHA one. You know of course it is hashed somewhere. And you can even download the file if you want to get all the lists, a list of prone passwords. Now, if you do that, you can basically perform something called the credential stuffing attack. And I guess what you're gonna think about this is hackers can use this. Yeah, sure, you can. Um, but it also helps people to remind themselves that it's very important to create a good strong password and not just you know uh, use the same stupid 
summer 2022 one for the first Q1, Q2, Q3, and Q4, you know. I've seen something like that in the past, and, you know, people are still using it. Basically, my norm is, if you can say it, it's gonna happen. So, yeah, if you wanna, about this tool, it's called, you know, I'm, I'm gonna put a link to that in the video. It's something you need to install through command line. I'm not really sure about Windows and all that, you know, I honestly, if you wanna work with security, skip Windows, you know. Maybe if you wanna do some, let's say forensics, I'm gonna suggest Windows in many cases, but but what I usually do is, is Linux stuff, so that is, that is probably also what most of my audiences are, are using, so yeah. I'm gonna do some more videos of tools and I'm gonna give you my thoughts on it and somewhat the same way as, as this video. So just until next time, I'm gonna see you again. Take care.